in about a month. We're going to step into the busy holiday travel season at airports. Yeah, and with the increased passenger load comes another potential headache at the checkpoint for you. WLWT News host Curtis Fuller is showing us what's abandoned at the gate. Curtis. Well, Sharia and Mike, here's proof that a little planning can go a long way. Sprinkle in a bit of common sense, and your travel experience will improve 100%. You might be surprised what some people think they can carry on to a plane. This is also a multi-task device, handy for camping, but not allowed to come through the checkpoint. Knives of all sizes and shapes, liquids, aerosols, paste, and creams. And yes, those are barbecue tools, even bowling pins, baseball bats, and weights. But these could be used as weapons. They can also be used as a secondary device to try to break down a cockpit door. So we have to think security. You'll also be stopped for items that look like the real thing. And sometimes they're children, sometimes they're adults that bring weapons that have the appearance of being legitimate firearms. If you look at that firearm, first glance, second glance, third glance, it appears as a real firearm. And it does get our attention. If you think holiday travel is a hassle now, imagine how much time is wasted because people don't do their homework. When we have to stop and take a look inside every bag for something as small as a bottle of water to something serious like an inert grenade, it's obviously going to cause a, a ripple effect for the folks that are waiting in line behind that person. Another important fact, if you have one of these prohibited items with you at the checkpoint, you do have options. They can go put it back in their check bag. They can leave it in their car if they drove to the airport. If somebody brought them, they can give it to them. So we're not going to ever take an item from somebody. We're always going to give them the option to, to do something else with it before coming through. But here's the problem with that. Most of the time, people are rushing, and their only option is to actually leave it with the TSA. Now, if you are curious, the TSA has a contract with the state of Kentucky. Some items are destroyed. Others are sold. The profit goes to the Commonwealth. Sheree? All right, Curtis Fuller live for us. Curtis also found out today that TSA is also seeing an increase in the number of guns coming to our checkpoints as well. In fact, last year at CVG, they saw 14 incidents. So far this year, they've seen nine. Nationwide this year alone, they've already seen more than 2,000 guns.